Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, the beauty of mathematics, part 31. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and check out the holiday sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. We do have several different tiers, so make sure you check it out, including a free one. Now, before we jump in, I, I did wanna mention something that um, you know, I've been talking about a little bit. I've, I've tweeted out, we're going to have a new show upon the new year. I know a lot of people like the live streams and the, you know, the, the question format because it gets, you know, it gets me to talk about things that I, I normally probably wouldn't talk about if I'm just sitting up here, you know, just making a video. So we are going to be starting a new show. It's going to be on starting on January 5th. It's going to be called NFA Live, so not financial advice live, of course, because nothing that I say on this channel is, is financial advice. Um, it's going to be starting again January 5th, and the other hosts of the show are going to be Rob from Digital Asset News. I'm sure you've heard of him. He's been on the channel quite a lot, and also Guy from Coin Bureau. And while he's only been on my channel, I think, one time, I'm sure everyone knows who he is. He, he's got a, a fairly large YouTube channel called Coin Bureau. He's also got another channel where he mostly does his live streams. And what we're going to do is we're just going to rotate on a, you know, every single week where we're going to host it. So on the first week, on January 5th, it's going to be on my channel. And then we're just going to rotate it around, right? So after my channel, it'll either go to Guy's um his his live stream channel or it'll go over to rob's channel i'm not really sure who it's going to go to next but we're just going to rotate it very you know very familiar format of just sort of asking questions posing questions to each other getting some of those answers right making us think about things that we wouldn't normally think about i think there's been some pretty positive feedback in the past about that type of of format so we wanted to start it back up uh, in, a, in a slightly different way. So this time it's going to be NFA Live or Not Financial Advice Live starting January 5th. So coming soon. Now let's go ahead and jump in. As of January 1st, 2023, the total cryptocurrency market capitalization is coming in at $795 billion. The fair value, according to the logarithmic regression trend line, fits you all data, which again is a monotonically increasing function is at 1.85 trillion. This represents an undervaluation of approximately 57%. But as I've said before, you should expect it to stay undervalued for quite some time. <coughs> and in many bear markets, we've gone more undervalued than we are right now. In fact, the 2018 bear market, we eventually went more undervalued, but it took until 2020. We also went more undervalued by mid-2015 and all the way back here in 2010. So again, I mean, it is, you know, we are getting pretty low, doesn't mean it can't go lower, right? We always have to remember that. If you look at this chart, again, we've hit these three major peaks on the upper logarithmic regression trend line. <coughs> Not going to edit that out. Otherwise, I'll never make the video. I'm just, I'm still sick. Um, but I don't really edit things anyways. But we've hit the upper logarithmic regression regression line three times. We unfortunately did not really hit it this cycle. We had two more intermediate peaks, arguably brought down by the deteriorating macro conditions. Um, and we find ourselves, you know, again, just sort of in this undervaluation territory that we know we can spend a long time in. I mean, like, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we stayed undervalued, according to this chart, for all of 2023. Right. I mean, I think there's a distinct possibility that we could be undervalued for all of 2023 based on this chart. And if we do go back up above the red trend line like 2019, it would probably be only for a, a very small amount of time. Right. Very brief amount of time. I'm not really envisioning any major <coughs> sustained move to the upper part of this curve in 2023. I think it'll it'll likely be a, a bit further out than that. But again, it does it does just really show you where we are in the undervaluation territory. The good thing is, is you know, I, I do think 2023 will bring plenty of opportunities to get into the market. Um, as you guys know, in 2022, I've often said cash is king, stack cash, right? If you want to buy altcoins, take a cold shower and reconsider because they're most likely going down, not only on their USD pairs, but also on their Bitcoin pairs. But most of them have. And and cash has been king. I understand that inflation sucks, right? I get it. 
but there's really nowhere to hide. And, and sometimes just sit, sitting in cash, maybe earning some yield with some relatively risk-free ways through like treasury yields, something like that. Pretty attractive option for 2022, likely going to continue to be a good option for at least part of 2023. I do think we're going to have some pretty generational opportunities coming up, so stay tuned for that. If you take a look at the percent difference between the total market cap of crypto, which is the white line, and the fair value, this is what you get. Same thing, right? Macro downtrend line, we go into the undervaluation territory eh, somewhat frequently. If you zoom in a little bit more, you isolate where we've historically bottomed with the exception of the 2012 bottom. You'll see that every single time we actually did go more undervalued than where we are right now. Now, in 2018, we did not, but we ended up making it there in 2020, right? Um, the total market cap actually wasn't that much different. It was just that the fair value had changed so much had gone up a lot. So we were technically more undervalued. And this was probably a more opportune time to get in because, you know, getting in here, you basically just, you buy and then you experience the bull market immediately, right? As, of, as opposed to over here, you got a brief bull market, but then we still, you know, deteriorated for another half year um, and another capitulation, more or less another double bottom before we ended up going back up. So, you know, I do think opportunity is coming. Um, it's just, uh, just a matter of time. So again, I think this is a great way to look at at um, at the undervaluation overvaluation part of this curve. And you know, if you continue, one of the things we've talked about before is you know I do think we will eventually get you know to that lower green trend line. Do we go down into it? Honestly, that's what I would prefer because I think it provides more opportunity. Of course, there's always the chance we go sideways until we hit it. We we've done that before. If you look at 2015, it's a good example of coming out of a year-long bear market, and rather than going down into the trend line, we just went sideways until we hit it, right? Kind of same thing in 2018. We we got down here, we actually poked our head back above the, the fair value line, but we more or less just went sideways until we hit it, and then the bull market began. So I don't really think a sustained bull market is going to occur until we hit this lower green trend line. Again, either we go down to it in short order, or we go sideways long enough for it to, for it to slowly catch up, right? That's my general expectation. Uh, it has been for quite some time as we've been outlining uh, the bear market throughout 2022. And, and now, now we're in 2023. But again, you know, I, I do hope this series provides value to you. Hopefully it's provided at least some way to you know, better navigate these you know, very complicated financial conditions in the cryptoverse. But you know, we've talked about this being a bear market year for quite some time. Um, if you think back to Q1 of 2022, sort of when we we're like, okay, yeah, it is in fact a bear market, and now it's time to just you know hunker down in cash. Remember that altcoins are really risky in a bear market, and that if you are considering buying them, it's often better to take a cold shower and reconsider when you're looking at a a, a long Bitcoin bear market. But as we come out of that bear market, hopefully in 2023, um, you know we should see should see better times ahead. Uh, as we as we get into the next few years. But anyways, if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, if you if you're um, if you haven't seen this chart before, I mean, the whole idea is my, my hope is that crypto will eventually get to that 10 trillion dollar milestone. Plus or minus a few trillion, of course. And as we go to sleep at night, we cannot help but wonder what's a few trillion dollars among friends.